Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be talking about the Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. And I got this book in my most recent Abominable Book Club uh, book box, which is a horror book subscription service. And I was really, really pleased when I saw this book in there because I'd seen it floating around on um, Instagram and I was really interested in it because I read Horror Store from him a while back now, quite a few years when it first came out really really enjoyed it and I know he's brought out some um, books since then that have been quite popular but yeah I saw this one and I really wanted it so when I saw this in the book box I was uh, pleasantly surprised and yeah I kind of dived straight into it and I really enjoyed it. I do think there are some flaws with this book but as a whole I think it was really really good. So a final girl is basically the last person standing in a horror film, often a girl. Um, if you think back to like um, like kind of cheesy 80s like slasher films basically, so the Halloween film franchise and uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, like the Freddy and Jason films, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, those kind of films where you know there's often you know one girl left standing and it kind of is centered around the whole you know horror tropes of the different people that get killed off so like the cheerleader and the jock and what, what have you and uh, this book references those kind of films quite often but this is set um in a world where um these are real life final girls so it's basically a support group like an aa meeting kind of um, of women who have been final girls, so they've gone through something traumatic and um, they've survived, um, you know, killings in their life and have managed to kill the killer, basically. And they were the last one standing and they've kind of all come together to support each other. And it centres around a woman called Lynette and she kind of feels like a little bit of the odd one out she has a very very high anxiety she has like loads of routines in her life um she very heavily relies on this support group and then one day in the meeting things just go wrong and she has a kind of breakdown and the whole group is kind of going their separate ways until somebody starts going after the final girls so there is a killer out there killing off the women in this group and uh, it's about Lynette's struggle with this and her basically trying to survive this and what's going to happen and you know it's um quite fast paced i do think that she is very flawed as a character um very relatable in some parts in terms of her anxiety and how mentally she deals with her trauma i feel like she's quite relatable but she does make some really stupid decisions in this book where she does some things and you're like really but then I guess if you are in that kind of panicky, um, overstimulated kind of mind, then you might make decisions that don't make sense to other people. And the other people in the support group don't even really believe her in some of the things. They think she's a bit odd and she's like a bit over the top and overly conscious of everything. And um, yeah, she's trying to persuade them that no, something really bad is going on. And they need to watch out and protect themselves and all this kind of stuff so yeah overall really enjoyed it i think i think if you enjoy those kind of films like um slasher films like the halloween mutant that kind of stuff you would enjoy this as well um the characters all the different final girls were all different they all had different um traumas in their life and they all cope with it completely differently so i liked that aspect that was quite good and i actually really liked one of the characters called um, Marilyn, I feel like, was kind of portrayed as a bit stuck up and a bit snobby to begin with, and um, a bit selfish, but she actually became my favourite character out of all of them. Um, there's one particular scene where if you... I mean, my profession is I'm a healthcare assistant, and I feel like if you, you read the scene, there's a particular scene with her in this, kind of around that, you kind of like warm to her, I really warmed to her in that scene um, it was a really touching scene this book deals with yeah it's like a, it's like a fast paced thriller wrapped up in kind of like mental health issues and dealing with grief and you know accepting trauma that's happened in your past and that kind of stuff I just really really enjoyed it 
Um, like I said, just looking at it from a thriller standpoint, there were some quite silly decisions made. And they were kind of made, obviously, to progress the story. And yeah, I didn't really... I didn't try... It was one of those books where you try and figure out who the killer is. You just kind of go along with it, or I did anyway, with the character. And then you kind of get swept up with her as she goes along. And... Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I think it wrapped up really well. I think I thought it was a really interesting concept when I first saw it about real life final girls. Like what happens to them after the films, like after the event. Because obviously when you watch a horror film, you don't get any of the backstory. It's just they're the last person standing, they're the last survivor. And that's kind of the end of the story until yeah, there's another film in the franchise or what have you. But to, yeah, kind of have a story after the traumatic events like what happens to the women afterwards i thought it was a really good concept and i thought it was done pretty good and um yeah i would probably give this maybe a four out of five not perfect but it was it kept me going i pretty much read it all in one sitting and yeah i also liked i liked the layout of this book if you look at the side you can see or i don't know if you can see um but there are like black lines going through and that's because the chapters have been like blacked out like the chapter um they're like this they're black pages but the ink was transferring a little bit which was kind of annoying and also in my copy of the book some of the pages um like were not put in the book properly so just be wary of that i don't know if it's just my copy or it is a thing with these books but yeah i kind of had to keep that tucked in there or i'm gonna miss like a whole chunk of a chapter so this book wasn't put together very well, but I did uh, very much enjoy the story. So yeah, it's a sizzling with action. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think and if you're gonna give this book a go. It's a definite thumbs up for me. And uh, like I said, I also really enjoyed Horror Store by um, this author. And I'm gonna pick up a few more of his books actually, because I do think I really like his concept. He was also the author of the Southern book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires, which I know is also popular um, on booktube and on Instagram. So I heard from a few people that it was a little bit slower, um, but a lot of people really, really liked it. And I kind of didn't pick it up because some people said it was slow going, which I don't normally like in books. But I actually might actually give it a go after reading this one because I forgot how much I enjoyed his writing. So yeah, my battery camera is now going to die. So I'm going to end this video and let me know what you guys think. And as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye guys.